How's it going? This is Steve at Bridge Set Sound. We're here in our studio wiring things up today, and we figured we'd give you a peek into what is going on. We have Face Bagel and Chris Rosick in the basement, which is our live room. They're on keys and on drums. I'm up here in the control room. We have our pre's and compressors over here. We got our patch bay right down here. But first, we're gonna see what's going on in the basement and how we're getting that sound from there up to here. Let's go check them out. While I walk to the basement, let's see our connections. We have four drum mics and two keyboard lines running into our XLR panel. We have a kick, snare, and two overheads on the drums, and stereo XLR out of the Korg Grand Stage. The XLRs then run from the panel up to our patch bay. So we're back in the mix room here, and we have our patch bay. So the mic lines that you saw in the basement there are coming up through the floor and into this patch bay. They are connected to the top row, A11 through 20, and we are using the first six of those. They are half normal to B11 through 20 below, automatically passing the signal to our microphone preamp inputs. The preamp outputs are A1 through 10, and those are half normaled B1 through 10, which are the inputs of our Apogee Symphony. The Symphony is connected to Logic via Thunderbolt. Uh, so the cables that you're seeing right here are actually for the drum overhead patches. This is taking the signal uh, out of the preamps that it's coming into, in this case our WA-412. So the red and the blue is coming out of the preamp going into our warm audio bus comp there uh, with the red and the blue coming out on the level above with the purple and the green and that then is going into Apogee 3 and 4 to coincide with these preamps being 3 and 4 in our setup. So for the kick drum we had compression happening as well However, that we did in the channel strip itself. So the kick drum is plugged into one in the basement. That is coming to one here on our patch bay, and that is half normaled. So automatically, without us having to patch the cable out of our API and into our symphony, uh, since this is half normaled, one from the basement, one here on the patch bay, half normaled into Apogee one. So since the compressor is built in, no additional patching. The sound is coming from the mic in the basement from the kick into this preamp here, then it hits the compressor. Uh, so let's see what happens when Face Bagel hits the kick drum. Take it away, Bagel. Cool. So you see here the signal hitting. And so that, again, is coming out of our API automatically right down into B1 there and into logic on our computer. Okay, and Face Bagel, let's now take the people through uh, the overheads here in a sec. So um, just to review this, since it is uh, stereo overheads that we did, we have uh, the left and right coming out. So that's what you see here, out of the preamp into our stereo compressor out of our stereo compressor and then back into Apogee, in this case three and four. Uh, so we're gonna see what it looks like when Face Bagel plays the whole kit. Uh, so go for it. So you can see here we're getting some compression We have our transformers turned on, which gives it some nice open color. Compressor on. Some settings quickly dialed in. We're gonna get scientific with you on future videos here. This is a nice test of our setup. So again, we've got the kick in one. We have the snare 
in two, and that's going into this tone beast and through. And then we have our overheads three and four, and that's what we're sending from the warm audio to the compressor and back in. Cool. So that's all for the drum kit. If you have any questions, let us know, and I uh, will be happy to answer and help you get your signal flowing.